Today, we'll cover the last exceptional needs for this course. We will review the technology considerations for students with physical and health exceptionalities with various medical conditions, each with unique history. IDEA considers orthopedic, other health impairments, and traumatic brain injury as separate categories. We will cover the definition, prevalent strategies to make a positive impact, and end with a summary. Three categories are considered other health impairment, or the acronym is OHI. Impairment results in limited strength, vitality, or alertness concerning the educational environment. Orthopedic impairment, OI, it was caused by congenial anomalies such as club food or the absence of some member, some member diseases such as polymyelitis or bone tuberculosis and other causes such as cerebral palsy, amputations and fractures or burns and cause contractures. Traumatic brain injury, TBI, and acquired injury to the brain caused by external physical force resulting in total or partial functional ability. Psychosocial impairment or both that adversely affects educational performance includes open or closed head injuries. Traumatic brain injuries, TBI, is often diagnosed as another disability such as a persistent pattern of an intention and or hyperactivity, impulsivity, AD or HD, or a learning disability. Other health impairments, OHI, is now the fourth largest category of disability under I IDEA. The prevalence rates of students who suffer from other health impairments, orthopedic impairment, other health imp uh, like OI or other health impairment, like OHI or traumatic brain injury, TBI medical conditions are relatively high. 10 to 12% of the population will develop asthma by the age of 18. Approximately 7 of the population has diabetes. About 0.05 had a traumatic brain injury. About 1.5 had other health impairments. Virtual learning involves teaching students in an environment that is synchronous or asynchronous. PDF files, ebooks, email, learning management system, blogs, or websites. The possibilities are vast of what you can do to support student learning. We will look at some strategies to make your endeavors effective to create successful learning moments for the student. Schreier in 2004 developed a list of recommendations to help with strategizing of virtual learning environments. The recommendation is able to consider whether virtual learning is effective for learning for the student. Although I think the recommendations are good, I add some examples not included in Schreier's recommendations. Plan for periodic online Zoom meetings to achieve personal involvement. Plan a strategy for peers to be part of online interaction. For example, record short videos of peers or include the peers in a Zoom meeting. Provide the learning materials early to the student. Allow the student to train in using the technology you will use for the learning material. Select technology to align with the learning goals. For example, drafting and editing a personal narrative with a block entries. Another example is provide students with the web links for further learning, such as state park videos for students. Consider both adoptive equipment and assistive technology best to reach the goals to inspire a student to participate learning the materials. Assess what instructional technology can support a student's learning journey through physical comfort, communication, and virtual learning. Assess how to acquire needed technology. Support a student with learning the assistive technology. Thank you for your time.